The future of supercars is unknown to many. You have many people believing that the internal combustion engine is dead. Now they believe that everything will be electric. Then you get people like me that knows that there is a place for electric but that there's also a place for the internal combustion engine. And I know I'm not alone. Many people who follow me feel the same. We are diehard fans of a real engine. An engine that makes a noise, vibration and that has character. Now Alpine has shown off what's to come from Renault's performance brand. Now as of now, no technical specs have been disclosed. But they did say that the car will be powered by an internal combustion engine and not just any internal combustion engine. You see the powertrain in this car is rather interesting. It's a hydrogen fuel internal combustion engine, much like the ones Toyota is working on. Now Toyota has shown on multiple occasions that the technology does work. They have run one on a rally stage and have competed in endurance races using this fuel paired with an internal combustion engine. Now Alpine believes that battery powered and fuel cell EVs can peacefully coexist alongside hydrogen fueled vehicles powered by an internal combustion engine. And why not? Why should we just focus on one energy source? Is it not better if we have multiple ways of powering our vehicles? Remember if we focus on just batteries, the rare resources needed to make said batteries will be used up in no time, whereas with water it's the most abundant resource on the planet. I mean we can even make hydrogen from water waste and seawater with the use of gallium and aluminium. Anyways I got distracted back to the Alpine. The necessary hydrogen is stored in two cylindrical tanks at 700 bar and according to Reynold the Alpine Glow produces practically nothing besides steam and riveting engine roars. Great stuff! Imagine a world where a supercar is quiet. How boring! Look, I know that you can make an EV with a sound, kind of like what Dodge did with the new charger, but let's be honest, this doesn't sound as good as the V8 powered charger. But there is more to this car than just the powertrain. The concept stands out courtesy of its transparent rear active spoiler. But the transparency doesn't stop there. The pedals and even the steering wheel paddles will be see-through. Which is cool in theory but imagine the fingerprints especially on those paddles. I personally don't think that invisible paddles will catch on. The car has some other interesting features like the front and rear lights which look really cool and I think it would look freaking awesome at speed and then the wheels which look a bit funny in my opinion but hey you do you Alpine. Now this car looks more like a Le Mans like race car than a street car. It's super low and super sleek. I don't think this is like a street car. I think this is more like a prototype race car in my opinion. Um, but we'll see if, if it makes it to any side. It is just a concept but it does show you what they believe is the future. Unfortunately Alpine has no plans to launch a hydrogen fueled internal combustion engine model in the near future. Instead they are looking to start by producing electric powered cars from 2025 including a hot hatch version of the revived Renault 5 Super Mini. I want to make a full video on that car because I own the Renault 5 so I want to dive deep into the new Renault 5 the revival and everything. They also want to build a GTX crossover and a new sports car co-developed with Lotus to indirectly replace the A110. Unfortunately because of the massive hype surrounding electric vehicles most companies are going electric because that's what sells at the moment. But they all know that hydrogen is possible and that we can make green, fun and fast vehicles using the technology. But let me know what you think down below. Do you think hydrogen is the future? Do you, are you one of the people that believe 100% in electric? If you are, great stuff, cool. Um, if you're not, then you're more like me. So wh whatever way you fall, you can leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, eh?